Hi, I'm John Adams, and you're watching Geek of the Ozarks, where we talk about subjects intended to improve your Windows computing experience. Uh, in this segment, I'd like to talk about a uh, subject that comes up frequently uh, with OEM computers, o that is, original equipment manufacturer, and that would be computers that come from companies like Gateway or Dell or Hewlett Packard. Um, the problem, the error message uh, that uh, users get, and that's the subject of this discussion, is the error message is that your hard drive is full and uh, that you'll need to take some action to prevent uh, future problems. Well, the hard drive we're talking about is the D drive. All right, and uh, let me give you a little bit of a background on this before we go any further. OEM computers typically come with a single hard drive, and they're split into two parts, or partitions and uh, the main partition is what's known as the C drive, the letter C, and then the second partition which is also the recovery partition is known as the D drive. Okay, the D drive is typically much smaller. There's only enough room on the D drive for a certain amount of data and it's, and it's data related to doing a recovery. If you needed to return your hard drive or return your computer really back to the original factory settings, you use the data that's on the recovery partition. For the day-to-day -day stuff, the normal Windows operation, you use the C drive. That's where all your Windows programs are installed. That's where all your data is stored. So you do C for day-to-day -day operation and then the D drive is the recovery partition and you really shouldn't touch that at all. But what happens is you get a new computer from the manufacturer and you take it through the out-of-box experience which is where you set up all your various features and options and so forth. And then when you enable the backup, the automatic backup, you don't change the backup device. So you leave it as drive D it starts backing up to your recovery partition and then very quickly the recovery tar partition fills up because it's not intended uh, to be a backup device. It's a small partition. It only has enough room for your recovery uh, data on it. So that's what's happening. Uh, let me show you how to fix that. It's a two-part process. The first part is to just turn it off. Okay, and the easy way to do that is just click on the start menu and there's your search box. Type in click in the search box and type in B-A-C-K okay you'll get a couple of things in your list your search list up there one of them is backup status and configuration and that's what we want alright so let me click on that and this is your backup status and configuration menu alright now I have turned it on so you can see what mine looks like and yours should be similar alright you've got a few options uh, over on the left you've got this icon for backup, you've got this for restore, uh, here's a uh, help uh, connection to explain a little bit more about this, down here is backup now as an option, change your backup settings, and this very bottom button is turn off the backup. Now uh, if you're ready to uh, change your backup settings or if you want to do a backup then uh, then you can go ahead and use the other options. My suggestion is to go ahead and click on this turn off button. Okay, I just clicked on it, got the user account control. Now uh, it's off. Okay, you can see if I click on it again, it'll turn it back up, back on. But I want to leave it off. So that's how you stop the error message from continuing. All right, you turn off the backup. Once you've decided what your backup option will be, whether it's a thumb drive or an external hard disk, or if you decide you want to use uh, blank DVDs, um, you can certainly do that. Buy some, go out to the store and buy some blank DVDs, and then you can turn it back on and start using the backup function. But for now, just turn it off. All right. Now we can close this window because we're finished here. We've turned off the automatic backup. The other part of this solution that you want to do is actually use Windows Explorer and, and uh, clean out the files that are on the D drive that you no longer want there. Now my D drive will look different from yours because I've removed the recovery partition from this computer and I've changed the partition settings on my hard drive. So this is a little different than what you would see but you can see I have C drive here and then I have D which is which is where I do all my data storage and then I have my virtual page partition is here and uh, um, 
another video we'll go over uh, why I've got it set up this way you may be interested in doing something like that yourself okay but um, here's my D drive and uh, yours like I said would be recovery and then C would be your Windows partition so you what you want to do let me start over here click on computer and this brings up the in Windows Explorer display and click on your D drive and you'll want to look for a file um, that has a very recent date on it so you want to make sure that the date modified uh, option is showing here and then find that and it should say something like backup or it'll have your user account name or it'll have a account name plus a date plus back the word backup something along those lines you want to look for that and really you don't you don't want to delete the recovery data you just want to delete the backup data alright so once you get to this point you find the file you just right click on it and then you can click on delete and that'll delete that file and then you should have a little bit of spare room on the recovery partition Windows won't give you the error message anymore they, we've turned off the backup part backup function so backup will not continue trying to automatically back up until you turn it back on and that error probably should go away and of course you'll want to choose a backup solution and go back into the backup uh, settings menu and, and change that you really want to have a backup option available and you want to use it on a regular basis and you know what we'll cover that in a different video but for now uh, let's just get that error message stopped so that you can uh, can uh, get on with your life and stop worrying about it this is geek of the ozarks my name is john adams and thank you so much for watching today